Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily Word. I'm, I'm really glad that you've joined me. We're going into Luke 15 today for our Daily Word and I uh, want to share verse, uh, verse 32 with you and then have us talk just for a few minutes today about how the Lord Jesus brings us from death to life. Not just when we die, not just when this life ends, but when we come to saving faith in Jesus Christ, we are brought from death to life in that very moment. Thanks be to God. Now, would you hear the word of the Lord? We had to celebrate this happy day, for your brother was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So remember that Jesus is responding here in Luke 15 to criticism about the fact that he is willing to be with sinners. He's willing to allow sinners to be around him, allow sinners to listen to him. He's ministering to sinners. He uh, will even eat with, uh, with known sinners. And uh, he tells three stories uh, explaining his mission, the, the reason that he is, is with sinners, um, that it is his mission and what that mission is about. And, and really, in a way, it's actually four stories about lost things. That is uh, a lost sheep, a lost coin, uh, a lost son, the younger son that we know is the prodigal. But in a, in a real way, uh, there is also a lost son, the elder son, who thinks that he is found. You should see the, the elder son, he in the, in the story really represents the, the Pharisees, the religious leaders who, who really believe that they are righteous because they are on what we could call the merit plan of salvation. That you work really hard, you slave away for God, you, you make sure that you dot every I, you cross every T, you check everything off the list, and then, and then your Father, your Heavenly Father has to, uh, has to reward you. And, and you see, the reason that He is resistant and angry about this party being thrown for the younger brother is that He thinks the younger brother's out, right? You, you messed up. You, you messed up the merit plan, and so you are out. You are unacceptable. You are done. You squandered your inheritance. It is over. There is no redemption for you. And, and the father, though, explains. He says, you know, w we had to celebrate because my son, your brother, he was dead, and now he's alive. He was lost, and now he is found. Ephesians 2.1 says, As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins. You see, there is a, a spiritual and eternal communion that we are meant to have with God. It's what we were made for. But what we know is that that vital connection has been broken. Broken by original sin, the sin that we inherit from Adam, uh, from that first sin, and, and also because of our sin, uh, that which we do, which is in rebellion uh, against God, that separates us from God and it, it separates us from what is truly life. Life is actually more than just a body that is working. That it, it is actually that vital, spiritual, eternal relationship with God. And not only that, the sin separates us from God, separates us from that life, but also in, in our sin, the, part of the, the corrupting power of sin is that we lose our perception of the things of God. We, we lose our means of seeing God, knowing Him, finding our way back to God. Our sin separates us. We cannot get back to Him. We are in, in a very real, very eternal sense, we are lost. So we, we lose our spiritual perception. We don't even really know how lost we are. Uh, we can't find our way back to God. We can't make ourselves alive. Uh, but Jesus Christ can, and He does. He comes to seek and save that which was lost. He died so that 
we could live. His death and resurrection truly is the, the hinge of history, is the moment when, when everything changes because we have access now to what is life, truly life. We can be awoken by the Holy Spirit to our, our need for God. Uh, we, we can be drawn by the Spirit to, to the Lord, to the truth of the gospel, and, and we can say yes. We can swing wide the door of our hearts and allow the Lord to come in and to take the throne of our lives and be our Lord and Savior, and we can truly live. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. And friends, until we get a chance to speak again, I pray that God would bless you and that He would keep you.